Hello, and welcome to the channel. Today, we'll be looking at the most bizarre ancient diseases that still affect humans. To date, only two kinds of diseases have been officially eradicated, and most of the bizarre ancient diseases have crossed over to the 21st century. And for as much as they still impact human lives to the point of death, they can be managed with immunizations and antibiotics. Ancient diseases that still affect humans. First on the list is number one, the Black Death. The Black Death is a form of plague that emerged in the ancient days and claimed tens of millions of lives across the globe. And while there might have been other types of plagues that might have erupted back in the day, Black Death wiped out a third of Europe's population in the 14th century. The reason for its name is because it forms black spots on the skin. Between the years of 1347 and 1351, it's been recorded that Black Death killed a maximum of 100 million individuals. The plague came back three centuries later and killed people in Spain and London. The plague is believed to be caused by Yersinia pestis, a bacterial disease caused by the fleas of rats. To date, Black Death still claims the lives of up to 200 individuals in one year. Number 2. Typhus Infections Throughout history, there have been cases of typhus outbreaks, but none shocked the world like the outbreak that occurred in 1848, where up to 20,000 individuals were wiped out, most of whom were Irish immigrants who had run away from Canada to escape the Great Irish Famine. Individuals who were infected had raging fevers. They developed red spots over their arms, back and chest, and the smell of rotting flesh, delirium, and gangrenous sores. The disease wiped out up to 150,000 men on the Eastern Front in World War I, and it's believed that about 3 million individuals died from the disease in the Russian Civil War. To date, typhus is considered a rare disease, and new cases are still reported in extremely overcrowded places. The disease is also common in areas where lies can move from one person to another. The disease is treatable with doxycycline administered soon after the symptoms show up. Number 3. Ebola Outbreak Ebola first erupted in West Africa between the years of 2013 and 2015 and wiped out up to 11,300 individuals. The outbreak began in Guinea in December of 2013 and spread to 28,616 individuals in Sierra Leone and Liberia and ended in June of 2016. The disease was first discovered in 1976, and it's believed to have come from the forest bats. And while it might not be transmitted through the air, coming into contact with an infected person's bodily fluids, such as blood, vomit, and diarrhea could lead to infection. Treatment can be administered and recovery is possible, but it all depends on the patient's immune response. Notable is that individuals who recover from Ebola have been shown to develop antibodies that last for 10 years. Number 4. HIV AIDS It is estimated that up to 35 million individuals have lost their lives to AIDS or HIV-related illnesses since 1981. According to Lancet, it is believed that HIV infections escalated in 1997, recording a total of up to 3.3 million patients. HIV is a disease that destroys a particular type of white blood cell, which plays a huge role in an individual's immune system. HIV will then weaken a person's natural defenses, leading to the development of signs and symptoms. The disease can be transmitted through unprotected sexual intercourse, infected blood transfusions, common use of injections, and intravenous drug use. Number 5. SARS COVID Outbreak SARS stands for Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, and it is caused by a highly infectious coronavirus. SARS CoV, which was established to spread up to 37 countries in weeks. Upon infection, the individual will develop chills, body aches, and fever. Over time, the disease progresses to pneumonia. SARS CoV was first discovered in Hong Kong, and it was almost declared a pandemic after it wiped out up to 922 lives, with up to 8,422 confirmed cases across the globe. The disease was, however, contained in 2003, and there haven't been any cases of SARS reported since 2004. And while it's believed that SARS might have been eradicated, health experts believe that the virus might still be alive and exists as a natural main reservoir in some of the animal populations and will likely erupt and cause illnesses to humans in the future. Number 6. Swine Flu The period spanning 1957 and 1958 was a historic period after 2 million individuals were wiped out by the swine flu. Russia and Hong Kong also experienced massive deaths, where 1 million people died from the flu in each country. The disease was caused by the H1N1 influenza virus. The first person to suffer from the disease was in central Mexico, and by April, 
the disease had traveled to California and infected a 10-year-old. The virus was pretty unusual as it contained bits and pieces of bird, swine, and the human flu viruses. The presentation of the disease was nothing different from the other viruses, because infected individuals experienced fevers, sore throats, body aches, runny or stuffy nose, red eyes and watery eyes. Number 7. Cholera Cholera was first discovered in Asia and Europe between the years of 1817 and 1824. It had wiped out up to 1,500 people. The biggest outbreak happened in Japan, followed by Moscow, Berlin, Paris, and London back in 1931. The disease has been established to start as an intestinal infection, and it is transmitted when people consume foods or water contaminated by feces and sewage. To date, cholera outbreaks are still rampant and can turn into a crisis very fast. In areas where the sanitation system has been disrupted, common symptoms, once infected, can range from dehydration and diarrhea. If left untreated, it can kill within hours. Number 8. Tuberculosis Tuberculosis is still as fatal as it was back in the day, especially when left untreated. It could affect the lungs and other parts of the human body. According to the WHO statistics, up to 1.5 million people lost their lives in 2020, with a huge number having pre-existing conditions such as HIV. The infectious disease does not discriminate and can equally affect children. Notable is that the disease can be contracted in any country across the globe, but the good news is, is that it is treatable and in most cases preventable. Number 9. Scarlet Fever In old literature, scarlet fever is referred to as scarlatina. The syndrome is characteristic of fever and bright red exanthem. Scarlet fever is caused by a bacteria called Group A streptococcus, and you can also refer to it as Group A strep. In most cases, the bacteria will make a poison that would cause a rash. Scarlet fever is infectious, and when in the human body, it will live in the nose or the throat. The disease is highly transmissible and will not present with symptoms at the time of infection, nor will the infected seem sick. Scarlet fever is a mild infection and can take up to five days for someone who is infected to become sick. Symptoms that you should look out for are such as abdominal pain, chills, and vomiting. The tongue will be characteristic white with a coating in most cases. It will appear swollen. Number 10. Mumps Mumps is not a deadly infection, but can lead to meningitis or encephalitis, and which are very fatal conditions when left untreated. Meningitis, for example, can cause the swelling of membranes around the spinal cord and brain. Notable is that there haven't been any deaths reported that are related to mumps. Individuals who are infected with mumps can recover quickly in as little as two weeks. Common symptoms associated with mumps are such as fever, respiratory problems, and swollen salivary glands. Mumps were discovered back in 1934, and it is a result of the virus genus Rebulavirus. Mumps has no treatment except for supportive care and the lowering of the patient's fever. Number 11. Whooping Cough Whooping cough is a bacterial infection, Bordetella pertussis, that makes its way to the nose and throat. The disease also goes by the name pertussis and is highly contagious. Infected individuals will spread the diseases by sneezing or coughing. But with antibiotics, the amount of time that someone is contagious can be shortened. Whooping cough was first discovered in 1414 in France, where it was considered a childhood disease. To date, whooping cough affects children and adults who have low immunity and toddlers who are yet to complete their full course of vaccinations. Number 12. VHFs Viral hemorrhagic fevers are usually spread when man comes into contact with infected people, animals, or insects. Initial VHF breakout wiped between 5 and 15 million of Mexico's native population between 1545 and 1548. At the time, the disease was known as Cocolitzli, and it was detected when urine turned into shades of green and black. The infected individual would also experience a change in the color of their eyes and skin to a sallow yellow, while the tongue turned dry and black. Painful lumps would develop behind the ears, in addition to chest and stomach pains, not to forget dysentery and the violent tremors. Number 13. Influenza The first case of influenza was reported back in 410 BC, and the virus is believed to cause 3 to 5 million cases of serious illnesses and about 500,000 deaths across the globe. Individuals with pre-existing conditions, infants, and the elderly experience severe complications, but generally a seasonal influenza infection are asymptomatic and can cause mild and classical influenza diseases. Individuals can also suffer from severe complications such as pneumonia. The annual influenza infections that occur among human populations are because of mutations. Notable is the impact of influenza is not always as high during the pandemics when compared to the seasonal epidemic periods. Thanks for watching.